haven't seen this much entertaining scene chewing since that porn parody of Leave It to Beaver. Hi, welcome to the Silver Spleen. My name is Linda Carter, and this is my review of Wonder Mama. Local films have been experiencing a kind of bifurcation in the last few years. On one hand, we've got locally produced blockbusters, where the scope of the film keeps getting bigger and bigger. On the other hand, there have been a number of local films that are much smaller, much more localized, and quite often, and in a lot of ways, better. Films like Ben's Doomsday Party, Dot to Dot, and Gangster Payday tend to be more character-driven and have fewer, if any, gunfights, car chases, or Andy Lau. Wonder Mama, directed by Clifton Co., falls squarely and comfortably into this growing body of small local film. Aoi, played by Petrina Fung Bobo, is turning 50. She's a shy, timid widower who tries to maintain peace at her home and at work. The film opens with her being offered a promotion, which she doesn't want, her 30-year-old unemployed son still lives at home. He's a reclusive shy type played skillfully by Baby John Choi. Please change your English name. She also is lucky enough to live with her father and her mother-in-law, played by Kenneth Chang and Su Yam Yam, respectively. But certainly not respectfully. These two old people despise each other, and we learn that the first time we see them. Their arguments are epic and loud, and while they may seem overly dramatic and unrealistic, all I can say is that I used to be married, and this film reminded me why I'm glad I'm not married now. But never mind all that tawdry nonsense. This weird, noisy family isn't very popular in their housing estate, as sleepless neighbors point out with very entertaining frequency. The film's plot unfolds with a series of funny, touching, and entertaining plot lines that I'd rather let you learn about by watching the film. As I said at the opening of this review, there is some overstatement and overacting, but I still found Wonder Mama very entertaining, and the audience I watched it with, in a cinema in Hong Kong, found it even more entertaining. The acting is commendable all the way around. Fung Bobo and Kenneth Chang turn in remarkably complex performances, while Siu Yam Yam and Baby John Choi also do well. Their characters in the script don't give them the same kinds of things to work with, but they are still impressive and very entertaining in their roles. That can also be said for the supporting cast. It was nice to see Tommy Wong Kwong Lung make an appearance playing a very funny character in a subplot involving Aoi's dead husband. Wen Chao plays a cousin from Up Above, whose constant Stephen Chow impression gets on everybody's nerves. Which, if you know about the actor Wen Chao, makes it a case of art reflecting life. Wonder Mama is a lot of fun to watch, and as it veers between over-the-top silliness and heart-wrenching seriousness, you're treated to a number of very memorable moments. Sometimes these moments are the center of attention of the film, and sometimes you actually have to watch the background of a scene to catch them. Siu Yum Yum has one particular moment that I found really, really funny, even though it's really no laughing matter. I really enjoyed Wonder Mama for a lot of reasons, and I hope that you would too. It's a very localized film, but it's not opaque. You have to be a little generous in places with it, but the rewards are well worth it. As I said before, it's the kind of movie that's been appearing more often in Hong Kong, and I really appreciate that. I also appreciate Wonder Mama for being the first film in a long time that got film development funding and didn't make me want to pull my teeth out. I really like this movie, and I think you would too. You're not necessarily going to miss anything by not seeing it on a big screen, but still, as I always say, if we don't support the movies that deserve it, then we get the movies we deserve. So do me a favor, go see it in the cinema, or wait until you can spend money otherwise and buy it. Don't download this movie, don't watch it illegally. When the movie is released to home video, I'll update the description with a link where you could buy it. If you enjoyed my review, please tell me. If you didn't enjoy the review, please tell me. Just also please try to put a little logic into whatever it is you want to say. If you enjoy the channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.